Welcome back to our YouTube channel and our 100 book challenge. Our 25th book of our 100 book challenge is Hotel Babylon. Um, as you know, my wife and I, we were the number one uh, luxury boutique owners in the state of Florida. And uh, this book is very well written. Uh, it's written in time frames. Um, for example, 8 to 9 p.m. 10 to 11 p.m. So it's really easy to follow. Uh, the author, uh, she did a really good job on this book. Anything after 12 o'clock uh, in the morning, I'm not going to spare any details. I'm going to go read a couple of... Uh, start with the back of the book. At the top luxury hotel, the staff caters to every desire from $1,000 shot whiskeys and bathtubs filled with Evian water, satin sheets, gorgeous call girls, and buckets of caviar. They also deal with guests who refuse to pay their astronomical phone porn bills, seduce the maids, fall naked out of windows, and even occasionally leave behind dead sheep in their room. It all makes for a busy day at reception, at reception, especially when one needs time to sneak a drink or liaison one's own, all the while lying to guess about why their rooms aren't ready at check-in. The manager of the world's exclusive hotels give a grand tour of glitz, glamour, decadence, floor by floor, room by room, in this hilarious and horrifying expose. We get this book five out of five. I'm gonna read uh, what happens at 10 to 11 p.m. Dennis is capable of getting guests extra pillows if he wants to, needs to, or has to, but it's not something that he particularly advertises to do. Those extra pillows at 10 o'clock. Uh, let's see what happens at 4 to 5 a.m. Perverts are always calling up in the middle of the night. Asking for blowjobs or full sex. It's one of the hazards of, dealing, of doing the late shift that you have to deal with those sort of calls. That is one of the reasons why the management doesn't particularly like putting women on the desk on their own, although they do, as they tend to get quite a lot of abuse. Drunken men calling up, demanding blowjobs. The front house staff, from the front house staff are not that unusual. The waiters and barmen get, pro get propositions all the time. Some are often money to make late night visits to bedrooms and I have known a couple of guys who have actually gone and done it. We give this book five out of five. Happy 100 book challenge. And we'll see you next episode.